become our student, and get access to effective and free educational materials. Could I see that automatic camera? Of course. This camera is easy to operate. Where is it made? It's made in China. Is it expensive? Not very expensive. I'll take this one. Okay. Do you want any film? Yes. Give me two rolls of Kodak color film. Here you are. Can I help you? I'm looking for books on WTO. Could you show me where they are? Come this way, please. We've got plenty of them and they're all on the shelf near the cashier's desk. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Hi, Mr. James. What's the rush? The bank closes in 30 minutes and I need to cash a check. I can lend you some money. Thanks. But it's necessary for me to buy a TV set. Can I help you in any way? You can take me to the bank if you want to. Sure. Let's go. I'm sorry, but I didn't catch what you said. I said, do you want me to help you? If you're sure you're not in a hurry, I can use a little help. Okay. Would you like me to get you a cab? Hi. I'm home. Can you double that recipe? I ran into an old friend after work and invited him for dinner. No problem. Who is it? Anyone I know? I don't think so. Do you remember Bob Gain from Tulsa? That name doesn't ring a bell. But tell me more. He was on the diving team with me in high school and saved my life one day. Well, I'll have to personally thank him by making him my famous chocolate cake. You're glad he saved me, huh? Absolutely. Bob and his whole family are welcome here anytime. Hey, Julie. You want to go grab something to eat? Sure. What do you feel like having? I really feel like having a big juicy steak. Oh, okay. I don't eat meat, but that's fine. I am sure wherever we are going they will have other options, right? I didn't know you were a vegetarian. I'm not. I am a vegan. A what? A vegan. I don't eat or use any animal-based products. I don't wear leather, eat eggs, drink milk or anything that comes from an animal. I used to be a pescatarian before, which basically means you don't eat meat, but still have fish and seafood. Wow, that's interesting. It must be tough. It's a bit difficult to find vegetarian-friendly restaurants sometimes, but since more and more people are vegetarians or vegans nowadays, it's getting a bit less difficult. Hit em high, hit em low. Class of 93, let's go. Hi there, everyone. We hope you're having a good night. Wasn't that football game great? I just knew we'd win. The night is young, folks. Get some food and mingle with those faces from yesterday. Later we'll let you know who the king and queen of the reunion will be. But for now, the band is playing the songs from our senior year. Get out on that dance floor. Hello. Could you have a taxi pick me up before 10 a.m.? What is your address? I stay at number 115 fucking road. 
Okay. A taxi will be there by 9.30. What are your rates? It is rib 10 yuan initially and 2 yuan for each kilometer. I have a lot of luggage. Will those fit in the taxi? Take it easy. I'll send a larger to pick you up. Thank you very much. In 1986, a New Zealander Hackett popularized bungee as a commercialized sport of mass entertainment. This sport is very challenging. It is a test of people's psychological ability of endurance. Especially when descending, as if they are watching a fast forward tape and when they bounce back, they sway around. The timid people will shrink back at the sight of it. Even if they jump off, they find it hard to avoid screaming with closed eyes. No wonder people give the title brave to anyone who jumps off. You see, the bungee participants take a deep breath when they stand at the starting spot and then, like diving, their heads are over heels and they jump off into the realm of the combination of heaven and earth. The wind roars at their ears and their bodies rapidly descend. They do not even have enough time to do several gymnastic movements and they are rebounded to the upper air by the cord. Entrusting life to the care of a rope indeed requires infinite courage. A young French fellow recalled his first bungee experience and said, When I fastened the cord and walked to the platform, I was extremely nervous. When I looked down, I was nervous even more. If the cord had broken, I would be knocked to bake meat. However, I knew my worries were unwanted. I was afraid if I retreated others might say something about me. I had to harden my heart and impose my head downward. I only felt wind wiring at my ears. My body rapidly descended. I thought that after only seven or eight seconds I was rebounded to upper air by the cord. In fact, it was 30 seconds. Maybe because of my nervousness, I only felt 7 or 8 seconds. When rebounding to the high altitude, I felt a sudden sense of relief. I did not feel nervous very much, but very comfortable. It is hard to come by in life that you experience this kind of comfortable. What do you want, Essie? A cup of coffee and an apple pie. How about you? I don't want coffee. I'd like some orange juice. Why don't you drink coffee? I don't like coffee in this cafe. It does taste weird. Most people think so. Good evening, Pizza House. This is Marty speaking. May I take your order? Um, yes. I'd like a medium pizza with pepperoni, olives, and extra cheese. We have a two-for-one special on large pizzas. Would you like a large pizza instead? Sure. That sounds good. Great. Would you like your second pizza to be the same as the first? No, make the second one with ham, pineapple and green peppers. Oh, and make it thin crust. Okay, thin crust. Your total is $21.50 and your order will arrive in 30 minutes or it's free. Perfect. Thank you. Bye. Wait! Exclamation mark. I need your address. Red Restaurant, do you want to make a reservation? Yes, I'd like to book a table for two this evening. At what time? 7.30. By the way, I would like a table next to the window. No problem, sir. Would you like anything else, sir? May I have some water, please? Certainly. 
Would you like your coffee with your dinner or later? With my dinner, please. And can you take my order for dessert later? Of course. What do you think about all the different diets people go on? I don't think dieting is good for you. It's much better to eat a balanced diet and to never get overweight to begin with. But what do you think about people who are obese? What should they do to lose weight? They need to eat healthy foods, but they also have to increase the amount of exercise they do every day. They don't have to cut out fattening foods altogether, though. So you think it's okay for people who are dieting to eat chocolate? Sure, they can eat some chocolate. As long as they are exercising and eating mostly healthy foods, there's nothing wrong with having a small dessert. How about drinking soda? Many people gain weight by drinking far too much soda. Soda should be a treat. There's simply no nutritional value in it whatsoever. If you want to lose weight and you can't stop drinking soda, try some Diet Coke. That's good advice. Have you ever tried taking vitamins? My mother used to make me take vitamins every day, but I don't take them anymore. Vitamins are good as a supplement. But they don't do much good if you don't have a well balanced diet to start. How do you know so much about food and dieting? You might not believe this, but I used to be twice the size than I am now. It's time to get up. I just went to bed. You shouldn't have stayed up so late watching TV. I told you we had to get an early start. I know, but that movie was just too good to leave. I guess I'll just have to pay the price and be sleepy. Do you want to eat breakfast here? No, why don't we just grab a bite at the coffee shop next door? Okay, by me. I'd like to see a tea set, please. How about the Japanese ones? They're okay, but I prefer Chinese ones. Oh, I see. I'll show you some. Catherine, have you ever seen the movie Fast Food Nation? Yes, I remember it was inspired by a New York Times bestseller of the same name. It's very thought provoking, isn't it? Exactly. It reveals the dark side of the all American meal. So, what do you think of the American fast food culture? I think America really deserves the name of fast food nation, as people can find McDonald's, KFC, and Pizza Hut almost all over the States. And everyone knows that Americans' favorite food is the hamburger, isn't it? Sure. You see, Tom, fast food is a lifestyle that craves convenience. People just don't care whether it is healthy or not. But I think some healthy menu options are also served at fast food restaurants. What are they? Such as fat free milk, whole wheat rolls, and fish sandwich. They're much better. But I'm not sure if they're well r c c e i v e d That's the point. People usually don't have much time to think about it when they have a on the go meal. Well, Americans may need to find a way to make the most of their fast foods. I suppose so. Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.